Well, not all alignments go as planned. This one's gonna get torn down, sent away, and brought back for some more adjustments after some parts get ordered. Uh, you wanna see what I do with this thing? Stick around. When it comes back, I'll show you what I'm doing with it. There's supposed to be spacers under this plate here, here, and here. That way you don't bend the plate. And over here, this one's tight. That one's got an air gap under it. This one's got a huge air gap under it. So the strut's actually moving around when I do stuff. It needs a spacer here, a spacer here, and a spacer here. Um, this guy drove this car here. That's the type of stuff there that breaks when you're running down the road and then the strut goes through the through the hood and then the tire goes into the fair into the into the fender and then the wheel locks up and then you come to a screeching halt. Um, but hey, that's why you guys bring me your cars to look at so that I can make you safer on the road ahead. But I can't really let him drive that out of here. He drove that here. So um, that's dangerous. Awesome car. 86 Mustang, 4i, super clean, 76,000 mile clock. Gonna be a lot of fun when it's done. I love this dash. Very cool, super clean car. Doors shut nice. GT hatchback. Got the old GTO lenses. Do they still sell those? I kind of like those. Sometimes I do dumb stuff. So this car was fighting me and I wasn't able to get the caster that I was looking for. And then I realized I put the shim on the new hat incorrectly. So I gotta take my hats back off the tops and put the shim on the bottom side of the uh, hat. Not a big deal, it just takes time. And I just, I didn't realize I was doing it wrong until I realized I couldn't get the numbers I was looking for. Sometimes I do dumb stuff and I make mistakes. It is what it is. We all make mistakes. Learn from. I won't make that mistake again. <laughs> So this shim is the bigger one. The one underneath is a shorter one. I want the taller shim on the bottom because it gives me more range of motion for my strut. And it also gives me another half inch of down travel at full extension. So I installed these upside down, so I'm gonna switch them around. It's not that big of a deal, it just takes time. Um, and I'm not gonna charge the customer for this. That was my screw up. My bonehead move, I'm not gonna charge him for that.
Come on, give it to me. Oh, you're being a pain. Being a pain in the rump ski. I think I'm gonna take the spring pressure off the strut so that I can move this stuff around, get it situated where I want it. But the longer space around the bottom is gonna allow me to move my top hat a lot better. So it's worth doing, just frustrating. Well, that was kind of a pain, but we got her. And I think I'm going to be able to get a bunch more caster now, so that's good. That's impressive. Well, this car is still fighting me. I think I may have a bent knuckle on the driver's side because I'm not getting anywhere near the caster I normally can get with this setup. And yet I have a full degree more on this side and more adjustments to go even farther with this side and that side's not even close. So I'm gonna to talk to the customer about finding a new knuckle for this car for the driver's front and see if that creates our solution. Because everything else is brand new except for the knuckle. So it's possible it's got caster bent out of it. Um, I don't know. It's a weird, weird problem. Now that I have everything set up correctly, I should be able to get four degrees of caster. I know this because I just did it on Saturday with the green Mustang that we just had in here. I paused from this one and went to work on that one because this one was making me angry. So I took a break from it, walked away from it. And now I'm back at it and it's still making me angry. Well, it's not making me angry. It's just frustrating when you know you can do something and it's not letting you do it. Toes in, I don't know, a little less than a half degree, so my bump steer's right where it needs to be. Like in full lift here, my cambers are positive one degree. And my toes just barely towed out. I haven't set my toe yet, so it was towed out more. So let's uh let's balance everything out. I'm gonna balance everything out to what I have on this side, even though it's low for caster. Um, it, it's still plenty of caster, it's just more caster is better on straight line car. This is a street driven vehicle, so having less caster in it will make it easier to drive on the street, but I really like them with four, five, six degrees of caster. Another Team Z Motorsports K member and lower arms. Very nice. So I'm going to reduce my caster on this side and take my camber positive to match that side. We should be good. Well, I'm going to bring this one to a close. I have uh, done everything I can do. I am very confident we have a bent driver's front knuckle because I have my caster adjustment as far as I can take it and I'm only getting two degrees of caster on that side. Normally I can gain four on that side at full adjustment. 
And this side I actually have backed off almost all the way to match that side at two degrees. This side I was capable of getting more than four degrees on. So bent knuckle driver's front, that needs to be remedied before I'm gonna waste any more time on this alignment, but at least it's usable. It's set up even with caster. It's set up within two tenths on camber. My toes almost nothing and it toes in a half degree on lift. I've got seven plus inches of rise and still maintaining uh, contact with the road, which is excellent. Uh, it should handle really well, even though we don't have as much caster in it as we would like. I think Gunner will be really happy with this thing. So, I'm going to strip this thing down, pull it outside, and probably give it a bath because it was sitting outside over the weekend and there's nothing but construction going on around here, so everything is covered in dust. It's horrible. But that's the world we live in right now. They're doing a huge, like, freeway exit expansion over here on the 16133 bridge and it's going to be like four years of this which is painful but you know good things come to those who wait i guess oh i'm tired it's hot another day down That wraps up this session with another Fox Body Mustang on our alignment rack. Uh, we overcame a few things. We still have a knuckle to overcome, but at least it's drivable at this point. Um, charge the battery up overnight, and uh, now it's time to pull it outside. Let the customer know it's ready for him to pick up. Give him a couple ideas for things he needs to address, and then uh, hopefully we'll see this thing out there pat on the pavement and doing its thing. struggle bus on this one uh, started over again it's a third time it's not right it's got to be right my caster was way off on the passenger side after I drove it brought it back in and uh, set it up again put a bunch of caster back into the passenger side seems to be right now I'm gonna start over for the fourth time and uh, Start from the beginning to see if my results are repeatable. This one's being very frustrating. doing weird stuff.
was my fault. I'm hitting the struggle bus. Got to tighten down the camp speed adjustment. every time I, I measure it. That one was my fault. I left the adjuster loose. Gotta be missing something. What am I missing? You're about to get put out pasture again. Gravity's a bit. dead on, the casters that have to be off. Let's adjust that some more. See what happens when we reboot the computer and start over again. So my caster's within two tenths, my camber's dead on. My toes just a skosh in. I'm going to reboot the computer. Start it over one more time just to make sure I have repeatable results. Uh, this car has fought me. This has been a battle. A beetle beetle battle. Oh, thank you, Lord. I finally have repeatable results. Um, I did end up loosening the lower control arm bolts. They were cranked down super tight. I don't know if that made a difference. Um, but they're, they don't need to be cranked until McGilla Gorilla says whoa. Um, 
now I have really good results. I'm happy with this. I'm going to drive it. I still need to rebalance the front tires because they're horribly imbalanced. Put that on our camber within a tenth of on our caster. Our toes pretty reasonable. Let me see what it does on lift. Pause. We're now positive a degree of camber. And the caster increases on rise, so that's good. I'll take. Great, googly muggly. That was painful.
out on this one. We have to go buy new cables here for this thing. Cameras are dead on. Caster's a little bit wonky. Toes close to where it was before. Something keeps moving around in this car and I have not figured out what it is. Or I'm just horrible at this. Which could be part of the problem. Let's make a caster adjustment. Four tenths of a degree on the passenger side. Reset our toe. Let's see if we can find anything loose. Well, I decided to rack this car one more time. This car has been fighting me with uh, a couple things, and I think I finally figured out one of them. Um, I would test drive this, and then I would park it, and when I get back and get out of the car where I parked it, it would be a half inch low on the driver's side. And I think that was just the way the car was loading, the way I was backing it into the parking spot um, because of the spool in the rear end. So I thought about that last night and I came in and I double checked, pulled this thing on the rack, double checked it and it's right where it was where I pulled it off the last time. So um, I don't think what I'm seeing is an issue. I do think I have a bent spindle and I definitely have a bad tire or two in the front. So I'm gonna recommend a new spindle, new front tires for this. Uh, it is usable and drivable the way it is. Uh, with the current setup, but I do believe it's going to need a new driver's front spindle. Uh, and that will allow us to add another eh, two degrees of caster, which will be beneficial for straight line drag. At any rate, uh, this one's going outside and going back to the owner. Uh, we'll see what happens with it from there. Uh, click like, subscribe, leave us a comment below. You guys have a great day. We'll see you on the next one.